I would tell these women that they don't have to worry about being leading more like a man or leading in a certain way or trying to lose being a woman or losing their femininity. I would tell them to be themselves, be genuine, be authentic, and your soldiers respect you more for that. We have a leadership background and then we have a, we have a credibility. So uh, a lot of people will respect to you. I agree with that one, that's a good. I am second Lieutenant Rizky Buspita Rahayu and you can call me uh, Lieutenant Rizky. In here, I joined the Garuda Seals Joint Exercise uh, as a platoon commander and then I cover a lot of communication in my battalion. Uh, all of the US Army is very well training and well equipped. A lot of US Army is more and more and so very, very friendly and it is uh, not expected. I'm First Lieutenant Monica Smith. I'm a platoon leader for Alpha Company 121 and here in Indonesia I'm training with my soldiers in the Indonesian military for Operation Garuda Shield 2021. Um, we're developing partnerships with the Indonesian military and um, working to develop interoperability between the two. I had not had any exposure to female military Indonesian soldiers at all. Um, I had only seen male soldiers and I was pleasantly surprised to meet Rizky. I wasn't sure what I was, um, what she was going to be like and I didn't want to put any boxes on her and let her introduce herself and be herself and she was wonderful to meet. I, after I finish my basic training, I continue, uh, same like you, a sig uh, signal core because I'm a signal core. Yeah. So I have a uh, five months. Same with you, yeah, yeah right, okay. yes. And then I have a airborne. Human relationships are the crux of what we do every single day in the infantry, in the army. That is our, that's our job as people. The army isn't, we're not just relegated to the United States. We we go all over the world to, to, to work, to train, to build relations. And so it's absolutely vital that we meet other soldiers and develop inter, in, person-to-person -person relationships as well as military-to-military -military ones. How can you manage yourself uh, in your uh, company as a female commit? That's a good question. Um, we just build build respect between me and the people I work with. You know, um, I show them that I'm a competent leader and they give me the same respect that they give any other lieutenant or any other um, soldier in the military. Yes, uh, I'm the only one in my unit, so uh, I enjoy it, but it is uh, more challenging, I think. If you could visit the United States and go anywhere, where would you go? Yeah, for the first time, I want to go to Hawaii. Hawaii, <laughs> yes! It's my favorite. I like beach. Yes. Yes, I like beach. I would want to go to Bali. Bali. Yes. yes. Yeah. Have you ever visited Bali before? Never. Never. Uh, so after this, uh, you can you get a lift? <laughs> <laughs> can you take me? <laughs> yeah, I will take you and I will accompany you to Bali yes. Island. If you have a lift uh, with friendship, uh, we can walk together. Uh, talk together and we can fight together so we can build enduring partnership. One of the challenges that you have to overcome in ranger school is getting people to work with you and work for you. When they are freezing cold, they're in the mud, they, it's raining and they don't want to move. They're starving and they're exhausted and you have to encourage them to work together as a team. In the, uh, as a first commander, I practice uh, how I lead and this is a lot of men because in a lot of men then I am a only woman and I lead my soldier and I must maintain his heart I must maintain his uh, value and then I must maintain his condition I was surprised that Rizky was the only female in her unit there there are just so few women in the Indonesian military in general and that definitely surprised me but um, she has had a, such a positive experience in her in her life, this is her dream job, and I thought that was absolutely wonderful. I'm very happy. I'm very happy to meet Monica Smith, uh, and I hope uh, at the next time, someday, I can go to the US and uh, we can meet uh, again. And I, I hope that I can learn a lot of things uh, about the US Army. <laughs>